Clifford Lee Burden was born in Castro Valley, California to Ray and Jan Burden. He had two elder siblings Scott and Connie. Burden's interest in music began when his father introduced him to classical music and he began taking piano lessons. In his teenage years Burton developed an interest in rock classical country and eventually heavy metal. He began playing the bass at age 13 after the death of his brother who died from a brain aneurysm. Along with classical and jazz Burton's other early influences varied from southern rock and country to the blues. Burton cited Getty Lee, Geezer Butler, Stanley Clark, Lemmy Kilmister and Phil Linnett as major influences on his style of bass playing. While still a student at Castro Valley High School Burton formed his first band called EZ Street. The band took its name from a Bay Area topless bar. Other members of EZ Street included Future Faith No More members Jim Martin and Mike Borden. Burton and Martin continued their musical collaboration after becoming students at Chabot College in Hayward, California. Their second band Agents of Misfortune entered the Hayward Area Recreation Department's Battle of the Bands contest in 1981. Their audition was recorded on video and features some of the earliest footage of Burton's playing style. The video also shows Burton playing parts of what would soon be two Metallica songs, his signature bass solo pulling teeth and the chromatic intro to For Whom the Bell Tolls. Burton joined his first professional band Trauma in 1982. He recorded the track Such a Shame with the band on the second Metal Massacre compilation in 1982. Trauma traveled to Los Angeles to perform at the Whiskey A Go Go. Among those in attendance were James Hetfield and Lars Ulrich, both members of Metallica which had formed the previous year. Upon hearing as Hetfield described it this amazing shredding, the two went in search of what they thought was an amazing guitar player. When they learned that what they had heard was a bass solo by Burton they decided to recruit him for their own band. They asked him to replace departed bassist Ron McGovney, and since Burton thought that trauma was starting to get a little commercial he agreed. The idea of having to move to Los Angeles did not sit well with Burton, who said he would join only if the band relocated from Los Angeles to his native San Francisco Bay Area. Metallica eager to have Burton in the band left their origin of Los Angeles to make a home in El Cerrito, a town located across the bay from San Francisco. Burton's first recording with Metallica was the Megaforce demo, a demo tape the band had made prior to Burton's joining No Life, Till Leather, managed to come into the hands of John Zazula, owner of Megaforce Records. The band relocated to Old Bridge, New Jersey and quickly secured a recording contract with Zazula's label. Their debut album Kill Em All features Burton's showcase pulling teeth which displayed his use of effect pedals such as a wah, wah pedal and electro harmonix Big Muff which are not commonly used by bassists. Metallica's debut album Kill Em All was originally intended to inherit the name of one of their earlier demo releases, which was Metal Up Your Ass but the record company did not like the title and insisted on changing it. Burton said we should just kill them all man, which gave the band members an idea for the new title. The album was released on July 25, 1983 through Megaforce Records. The band's second studio album Ride the Lightning showcased the band's rapidly evolving musical growth. Burton's songwriting abilities were growing and he received credit on six of the album's eight songs. Burton's playing style and use of effects is notably showcased on two tracks, the chromatic intro to For Whom the Bell Tolls and the lead bass on The Call of Cthulhu. The band's improving musicianship on Ride the Lightning caught the attention of major record labels. Metallica was signed to Elektra Records and began working on their third album Master of Puppets which is considered by most critics to be a landmark album in heavy metal. Among the tracks featured in the album are the instrumental Orion and the title track which was Burton's favorite Metallica song. Master of Puppets was the band's commercial breakthrough release and Burton's final album with Metallica. Burton's final performance was in Stockholm, Sweden at the Solnehallen Arena on September 26, 1986 one day before his death. The final song he performed was Fight Fire with Fire according to setlist.fm and the cassette included in the deluxe box of Master of Puppets or Blitzkrieg according to the band's homepage.
In Sweden on the Damage Inc. tour in support of Master of Puppets, the band members complained that the bunks on their tour bus were unsatisfactory and uncomfortable. The story of how Burton won the bunk differs between the two band members, as Kirk Hammett stated on VH1's Behind the Music, he and Burton drew cards, and Burton picked the Ace of Spades thereby getting the first choice of bunk. However Ulrich's version of the event was, Hammett and Burton drew straws and Burton drew the long straw winning the choice of bunk. Burton was sleeping shortly before 7 a.m. on September 27th when according to the driver, the bus skidded off the road and flipped onto the grass in Kronoberg County. With no safety restraints on the bunks Burton was thrown violently through the window of the bus, which then fell on top of him killing him instantly, Burton was 24 years old. The bus driver said that the crash was caused by the bus hitting a patch of black ice on the road, but James Hetfield later stated that he first believed the bus flipped because the driver was drunk. Hetfield also stated that he walked long distances down the road looking for black ice and found none. However the driver stated under oath that he had slept during the day and was fully rested. His testimony was confirmed by the driver of a second tour bus that was carrying the band's crew and equipment. The driver was determined not at fault for the accident and no charges were brought against him.